Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. It is Memorial Day weekend. To some people that means barbecue, to some people that means the start of camping season, to some people it means Indianapolis 500, to me it means garage sales. Oh my gosh, there are so many garage sales around here in northern Indiana, probably where you live too. I'm serious, I drive down the road and garage sales just jump out in front of my van. So, the last three days I've done a crap ton of garage sailing and I have a bunch of stuff to show you. I have a couple crazy stories to tell you and I have a couple of really, really valuable lessons on negotiation to teach you. So pay attention and strap yourself in. Hang on. You ready? Cool. So uh, one thing that I always look at is themed items, you know, and by theme, I mean like, you know, TV, movies, uh, characters, whatever. So I've got some Batman stuff here. I've got some uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I've got some Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I'm sorry, Nightmare Before Christmas, not Nightmare on Elm Street. Holy cow, that would be something. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, this, mu this movie is like 25 years old, but it still is really, really popular. And for some reason, this year, I have found and sold a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Now, it's only May. You know, you heard me say it's Memorial Day. You would think this stuff only sells at Halloween, but that's not true. It sells all year around. So, definitely look at theme stuff. Board games, got a few board games here. This chicken or the egg game, the lowest... FBA right now is $59 in brand new condition. Mine is not in brand new condition, but I still should be able to get $35, $40 bucks for it. And again, I only paid $2. Hooray. Sealed puzzles. I always find sealed puzzles at garage sales, and I always grab them because they sell wonderfully. This Forest Gnomes, this is ranked like 9000 in toys on Amazon. I paid $2. It sells for $20. Beatles Abbey Road. Dude, that is so cool. I paid $2 for that. Sealed condition, it sells for $89 on Amazon. Yay, Jeff. Halloween costumes. This is something else that sells all year round. You would think it would only sell at Halloween, but that is not true. Paid $5 a piece for these. They sell for like $30, $35 bucks a piece. Pretty awesome. This I thought was really, really cute. This is a 1960 Disney book, How to Draw. Shows you how to draw Mickey and, you know, other Disney characters, whatever. Sold listings on eBay right now, 25 bucks. I only paid five. Um, check this out. Easy Weaver. This is in brand new condition, never been out of the box. I paid four bucks at a garage sale. Little long tail on Amazon, but there's no FBA. Lowest merchant fulfilled right now is $100. Keepa shows that this has sold for as much as $200 in the past. And again, I only paid full dollar. Yay, Jeff. Okay, got a few books here. Um, here's one of the stories that I'm going to tell you. I was at a garage sale that had a dollar book table, and I walked up with seven books, and a lady picked one book out and said, can I just look at this book for a minute? And it was a book called Buller's Birds of New Zealand. You can look it up on Amazon right now. It has a decent rank, and the lowest offer right now is 50 bucks. So I was pretty excited to get it for a dollar. She leafed through it really, really slowly, and I thought, she's going to ask for more money, which I am happy to pay. She can ask whatever she wants. I'll pay it. But instead, she said, do you mind terribly if I keep this book? Because my mom and I went to New Zealand, and she's passed away, and I didn't know my sister put this out here. So, you know... I said, of course, ma'am, you may keep your book. Now, let's talk for just a minute here. I could have been a jerk, okay, and said, uh, no, you put it out there for the sale, I'm buying it, right? And I would have made 50 bucks, so I've lost 50 bucks. But I kind of think that I gained something more by making this lady happy. And that's really what this business is about, is making people happy, right? more so than making money. And if, you, if I can make money making people happy, that's great. But in this case, I just made this lady happy, and it was good. Now, let me show you what happened. After that, I went to a different garage sale, and I found these three books in a $1 bin, and each one of these is a $50 book. Why? I don't know. Now, you can tell me that's just coincidence. I would have found these anyway, but... You know, I'm kind of a believer of blessings will return to you. You want to call it karma, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I just know that I feel good about myself and I'm going to sleep better tonight knowing that I didn't take that initial $50 sale from that lady and uh, make her cry. You know, I, it's not worth 50 bucks to make people cry. Okay, enough of the sappy stuff. Let's get back to the stuff. Uh, Golden Record Library. I don't even know what this is. I couldn't find 
anything on eBay really, but I only paid five bucks for the whole set. So I'll package it on eBay and see what I can get for it. Got a bunch of classical CDs here. These were a dollar a piece, so I paid 10 bucks for all of them. I just grabbed the whole stack. Um, I scanned a couple and they were selling for 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. So I was pretty happy. Harpeth Rising, never heard of them. I'm gonna listen to that before I send it in, but it's selling for like $35 on Amazon. It's pretty cool. Boring stuff, always look at boring stuff. Filters. Uh, light bulbs, oddball light bulbs. Look at the odd light bulbs. Okay, only paid 50 cents for those. Should be able to get 10 bucks for them. Um, wood grain metal storage box. Why does anybody want this? I don't know. I just find that wood grain tends to sell stuff. So I always look stuff up when it's when it's wood grain. All right, so let's talk kitchen stuff. Got a bunch of kitchen stuff. That food server back here, paid a dollar for it. Recent sold on Amazon, 25 bucks. Got a couple Crocs. The Croc Watcher here. Um, paid a dollar for that. Recent sold on Amazon, 35 bucks. Um, the ceiling light, I kind of an art deco thing. I put that in kitchen because when I was a kid, we had one of these hanging in my kitchen. Um, paid, again, paid a dollar for that. Recent sold on Amazon, right around 30 bucks. Uh, travel irons, you know, I've sold these a couple times in the past. They don't sell for a lot, but I've never had one in the original box. So, you know, that should do pretty well. Uh, this vintage toaster is pretty cool. Again, uh, recent solds on eBay, 25 bucks. Blenders, this Osterizer comes with an extra blender thing. Looks like the lid is damaged there, but I should be able to get a uh, replacement off of eBay. The Wearing Futura 2, I've actually sold this in the past for 35 bucks and only paid $2 for that. All right, so here's a lesson on negotiation. I'm going to teach you two different lessons. One, garage sale I was at. You guys have probably heard me say that when I go to garage sales, I like to chat people up get an idea of why they're doing the sale okay this lady I got the idea they were just decluttering they were just getting rid of stuff so I saw this stack of records started looking through it I saw Whitney Houston I saw Belle Biv DeVoe okay so I got some 80s stuff here you know this can be some good money all right Stevie Wonder Temptations you know 70s 80s all right there's some good money there so I said how much are the records she said oh a dollar a piece and I could tell she didn't really like talking to people so I wasn't going to make her tell me what she wanted for the whole stack. But I said, would you take $10 for the whole stack? And she was happy to get rid of them. She said, of course, yes. So, you know, I, I did pretty well there. I got 10, all those records for 10 bucks. Now here's a second lesson. So all this stuff back here, the Batman stuff and the Nightmare Before uh, Christmas stuff, this guy, this garage sale was totally different. He was an extrovert, you know. He and I chatted. We talked a lot. We talked about the weather. Um, and he had a huge, huge DC collection in his garage sale. I mean, he had plush. He had wall hangings. He had all kinds of stuff. So, you know, it's different from this garage sale where they were just decluttering, getting rid of crap. This guy had a valuable collection that he was downsizing. So, let's talk here for a minute. When you go to a sale and you are talking to people, whether you're the buyer or you're the seller, what you need to do is you need to agree with the other person on the value of that item. Does that make sense? Okay, so if this person here, this person believes that what they have is junk, I need to agree with them that it's junk. Okay, yeah, you, you got all this junk, I'll give you 10 bucks for all these records, okay? And they're happy. If I would have said to this guy, yeah, I'll give you 10 bucks for your box of junk here. There's no way he would have taken it, okay? Because in his mind, this is a valuable collection. So, all of these, as you can see, these are action figures, are all marked five bucks, every single one of them, all right? So I started scanning them, and I found, you know, halfway decent ranks. I mean, two, three hundred thousand in toys, all right? And, but I'm seeing prices of 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Occasionally, one was like $10, all right? So I started cherry picking but then I thought no I'm gonna make an offer on the whole box but instead of me making the offer I said to him man these are great and my kids love DC which is true my kids do love DC I didn't say I was buying these for my kids but I said my kids love DC what kind of offer can you give me what kind of deal can you make me on the whole box okay do you hear what I just said I let him tell me the value of his collection all right, because any offer I would have made would have been an insult to him. So I said, what kind of deal can you make me on the whole box? And he goes, 60 bucks, does that sound good? You bet, buddy. 
I'll give you 60 bucks for this whole box. Now you heard me say several of these were $30, $40. I found at least two of them that were $50 on Amazon. So I'm going to make money here, but he and I agreed on the value. So here's two lessons on negotiation. Get an idea of who you're negotiating with. Are they selling junk or are they selling a valuable collection? And that will give you an idea of how to negotiate. All right, cool. So let's move on to electronics. Um, digital picture frame, I love the name Genie. Haha, <laughs> that's really cute. Um, there's a listing for this on Amazon, but there are no offers. So I only paid, what did I pay? I paid five bucks for it, all right? Um, other digital picture frames, I've sold Kodak digital picture frames in the past for $100. I don't think I'll get 100 bucks for this, but I'm going to do some research, and uh, certainly I can make a good profit. Polaroids. Dude, Polaroids on Amazon. This one right here has a really good rank in camera, and it sells for like 35 bucks. I only paid $3 for it. Arvin, this is a antique heater. Why do people buy antique heaters? I don't know. I don't care why. I just know that they do. I've sold Arvin heaters like three or four times in the past. So I paid 10 bucks for this. I know I can get 25, 30 bucks for it easily. This I am super, super excited about. Sorry about that. Um, this is an antique metal fan, cast iron base, brass blades, and it is in incredible condition. It is just beautiful. I paid 10 bucks for this. Um, I can't find a brand name for it but other fans similar to this have sold for 90 100 bucks in the past so i will let you guys know what i do all right i have a whole bunch of electronics here i've got calculators i've got computer crap um i've got radios you know none of this stuff is huge money but honestly it's all 12 bucks 15 bucks 20 bucks 25 bucks i think the highest one is this eight track player here recent sold is 33 dollars but you know, I'm paying two bucks, three bucks, five bucks a piece for them. So that's some good money right there, guys. Uh, it, it all adds up. Honestly, it all adds up. These may actually have been a mistake. I will honestly show you my mistakes all the time, guys. I got pretty excited at the slide projector. It was a brand that I'm not familiar with, Brumberger. Brumberger slide projector. Um, did not find any sold listings on eBay found uh, some that ended without sales, but didn't find any sold listings. Same thing here. This is a Vulex uh, Previewer Senior. You put the slides in here, I believe, and then it, it uh, reflects on the mirror, and it lights up, and you can watch the slide here. Again, ended listings without sales. So both of these may be junk. However, the Brumberger, I have found parts that have sold on eBay, like the the tray and uh, the bulbs and things like that. So worst case scenario, I may break it apart and part it out. Okay, got a typewriter here for $1.50, only sells for 20, 25 bucks on Amazon, but hey, at $1.50, why not? Okay, this is really kind of exciting here. This is a vintage Kirby G10D. Now, the problem with this is the cord is broken, all right? But Splicing cords, that's easy. I can splice a cord. I mean, I'm not an electronic genius, but I can splice a cord together. I've done it many times. Sold listings. If this works, and I don't know if it does because look at that bag. That's kind of torn up, okay? Um, anyway, if this works, there is several sold listings, one of them for $700 for one of these vacuums with the accessories. Now, mine is not in nearly as good a condition as that one. But if I can get a couple hundred out of it, I will be super, super happy because I paid five bucks. Seriously. And again, if it doesn't work, I'll tear it apart and I'll part it out because the parts are selling on eBay. Right? Good, good money there. Okay. I'm going to go back to the books here for just a second because I want to tell you a story. This is the craziest story I've got from this weekend. So, this book right here, Engineering Drawing. I got this at an Amish sale. I was in the Amish guy's barn, and I grabbed a couple books, and he said, hey, that uh, that engineer, well, I mean, I, I took the books up to the table. I put them on the table, and then I walked off to look at kitchenware, and he yells at me across the across the barn. Now, we'd already been talking, right? You know, you guys know I like to talk, and I'll, I tell you, I always chat people up, okay? Chatting people up, that gets me so much more. You know, if, if I go in there, and I'm just all business, and I'm silent, 
nobody's going to talk to me. But if I already establish a rapport with them, talk about how nice the weather is or how crappy the weather is, whatever it is, you know, or just talk about the stuff they have or just make jokes with them, that gets people on your side and then they warm up to you and they offer you things that you don't get otherwise. This is a perfect example. That book right there. Like I said, I put it on the table. I walked across the barn to go look at kitchenware and he yells at me across the barn. He goes, hey, that engineering book that you got? Ah, uh, there's a computer back here that I think they used to do that stuff on if you want to look at it. The computer was not out for sale in the garage sale, but I said, sure, I'll come look at your computer. So we walk behind the table, you know, to the other side of the barn, and he has a vintage Tandy 1000 computer from the 1980s, all right, with the keyboard and the dot matrix printer and everything. Now, these regularly sell on eBay for three or four hundred dollars as long as they work and if it doesn't work it'll still sell right so I looked at it and I said uh, does it run on kerosene and he said oh I don't know uh, you can try kerosene on it but I don't think it'll be very good for it so we both chuckled over that again warming him up and I said okay so uh, what are you thinking here and he goes wow well, Ten bucks, that sounds fair? Why, yes, sir, that sounds fair. I'll give you ten bucks for your vintage 1980s computer system that you did not even have offered for sale. Guys, deals are out there. Go find them. I'm serious. My total bill this weekend, I think, was only about 200 bucks, maybe a little more, maybe two and a quarter at the most. And you heard me say, that computer right there, I'm going to sell for three or four hundred bucks, okay? This vacuum right here is going to go for a couple hundred, easily. So, I think I did pretty good here. Leave me some comments, let me know what you think. Tell me what you are finding in your garage sale sourcing.